Okay, so um, good afternoon everyone. Namaste and hi. My name is Shamshir Varma. Uh, welcome to Easy Analytics channel. This is my first video, so I don't know how much takes it's gonna take to complete this video and how many edits I, it requires. Um, I've been trying to make this video for a couple of hours now, so uh, I, I, I see how much effort is required by YouTubers, you know, to create content it's it's a hard thing um and the the time it's taking me is because i started using this road mic and uh well i live in australia sydney um inner city and there's always some construction going on there's like a lot of noise around it takes a little bit of time to and sometimes um cuckoos are there and cuckoo bears are laughing at you so um, I, I wanted to cut them off so I started using this road mic and it's giving me a hard time I don't know either I don't know how to use it or it's just that the technology it is supposed to have a plug and play but it's giving me hard time so I have to do some research and see anyhow so first of all welcome to easy analytics um, and as I said this is, this is my first video so let's see how it goes um so in this video i'm gonna talk about me my journey in australia and then i'm gonna deep dive in talk about more uh what analyt what easy analytics will cover so let's just you know talk about me All right so i finished my coffee I've been trying to make this video for so long that I rank all of it. Huh. Anyway, so about me, um, as I said, my name is Shamshir Verma. I came to Australia in 2017 to do my master's in IT data analytics. Currently, I work as a senior data analyst at Cornell Bank of Australia. It's one of the biggest bank in Australia and it has a beautiful culture and people around. Mm, when I came to Australia in 2017, the journey was quite hard because as an immigrant, as a student, you take a lot of loans from the bank in India or any other country. Um, I'm not talking about the people who are 2.5% of the bell curve, the higher end. I'm talking about the median person like us who come to Australia to study who don't have enough money to you know pay off the tuition fee um, there are other aspects to it that why it's hard so many companies want over here permanent residency some experience um, and as a student when you come here you can't uh, have full-time job you can only work part-time 20 hours per week another thing is um, you cannot go as a for a part-time student. If you go to a, as a part-time student, you can't apply for your permanent residency. So you can only study full-time and then do part-time work. So the journey was um, incredibly hard. I think many, many students who are currently here or many students who are planning to come to Australia, um, definitely you have something to think about. But there are ways, you know, that makes life easier. And I'll be talking about those things uh, in my following videos. So yes, in 2017, I started my master's in IT data analytics. And um, in 2018, I got my first break to work in Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Before that, I was still working as a uh, research intern and also in one of the startups. But that was a, you know, big break for me. I, this changed everything. 2018 onwards, um, when I started working in Commonwealth Bank, I learned a lot of things. I made really good friends. Um, I was introduced to an amazing culture, Australian culture, work ethics, and amazing people who became my mentor. Um, and after that, uh, in 2019, or 20 was it 20 yeah 2020 i moved around ventured into other uh, companies and the covid was 
there and then in 2018 at the end i came back to combank uh, since then i've been here i absolutely love it i love australia it's a beautiful country and especially sydney um i have embraced it quite i think naturally um i made so many friends as i as i was saying before uh, as i said before and i'm staying still um that's about me about easy analytics so easy analytics will be covering three things three aspects um the main purpose of easy analytics is to bridge the gap for the students under grads or grads how to step into industry now as a senior data analyst and based on my journey i have learned quite a few things um it's been now 4 years 4 and a half years and i would like to um help you guys um helping you giving information um how you can bridge the gap between um university life and stepping into an industry it's there are a lot of factors that govern that and there are things that work there are things that doesn't work i would be um putting that more in detail in the following videos and help you guys maybe streaming line your life a little bit and see if you can get into industry pretty fast so the mistakes that i made uh, maybe you don't have to make second thing okay this is this is supposed to be a second thing but you know my fingers are pretty weird today so second thing personal improvement yes productivity so improve your personal productivity last year everyone you know covid hit it was a tough time for everyone um so during that time for me myself i learned quite a lot of things about me um i went into depression a little bit and then i came back and uh, i realized that it's very important to be sane during those times and personal productivity actually helps in um improving your mindfulness you know you 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 are more sane you your mental health is good you are able to be you you are more aware about yourself and based on that um you you take right no i wouldn't say right decision but you take some sort of decisions which is which you think about beforehand you don't react you analyze the situation and based on that you don't get into a lot of analysis but you think about it and then you get into and make a decision so there are some things that that help me and i would like to share and help you guys how you can improve your personal productivity which is quite important nowadays and after realizing through covid um the third thing is your um not your sorry tech review um so i'm going to review some gadgets it's a it's not tech tech channel it's more like um i'll review some of the gadgets that help me improve my productivity so i'm going to talk about that another thing i would like to talk about is where australian market is heading towards so let's say in next 2 5 10 years what are the things that 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 will come and eventually um move the or drive those sort of roles that that you know going to pop in so let's say right now data analytics is something which is in limelight and people would like to get into this and and it's a very good field to work in and you have lot of experience you get lot of experience and it's a good money so and also data science but what about next 3 years or 4 years where australia is heading towards that is very important to know before so that when you come here study or when any domestic student who is studying over here knows what's the pathway to get into industry um yeah so the, these are the three things i'm going to talk about also uh, you know i i think i learn more from you guys than you from me 
uh, I will embrace that. I'm pretty open about it as well. So let's see how how it goes, you know, how things are going to go in, in the future videos. I'm going to make it more fun, more more likable so that it's not all the way boring. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you want to subscribe, if you want to comment anything, if you have any questions or if you want to talk about my journey in India, how I came to Australia. So we can talk about it. You, you know, feel free to put a comments and what do you want in the next videos? I would love to uh, talk about those things as well. So thanks. Bye.